Hey YouTubers, this is David again. I ain't changed the power up yet, so I changed the the uh, grounds out. I didn't. I took them off here, all the way off, and got longer wires going up through here. Uh, they are hooked right here now, up under this. Okay, where the ground is to the car. It's underneath that now, and uh, I did water. The uh, container down, whole bunch of water. That thing was half full of water, so I put, I dumped a whole bunch of water. I just took these things here loose and let that water run through. I had a little bit too much uh, KOH in it, so uh, uh, I watered down a whole bunch. So we're going to go ahead and crank this thing up. And uh, a bit too much KOH, even for that thing, so. Just crank it up, go up on here and turn it on. Always can put more back in it if I took too much out. So, okay, here we go. And it is producing really good. I did water this stuff down. So, uh, I'm going to go over here to our cables. Okay. Since it's directly to the battery now, it should overheat. And I did water that stuff down. There's two wires right there. Uh, that small one and that small one right there. With my fingers are uh, on, okay? Directly to the battery. I don't feel no heat. Well, that's got the wrong wire, too, so. Alright, I'm feeling it. Shouldn't have no problem with it now. Going like crazy there, and the type one. Catching all these problems is a good thing. Catching all these problems where I've been having. I've been overheating on my wires. You see how long it's been out? We have it on. I've grown on three minutes here. See what our production is. I watered it down, like I said. This is a very good production. I had that thing half full of water. You see where it's at now. Alright. That's the bottom of it. Okay. Looking good. Uh oh. Yeah, bro. I was going to say, I ain't got no bubble up here now. Well, you can't get the damn top on you, Jesus. It might help. Whoops. Put ah. this bag on, you might get some bubbles up there. You might not. <laughs> we do. Yeah, I got this thing turned all the way off for the time being. I'm trying to get backtrack why my, my uh, mileage went down. Might have been the, the sensors that I replaced this past week, as was causing the, the engine light to come on, which it did. It came back on yesterday, and I reset it again. It might take two or three times to reset it until it gets right. And the guy on YouTube telling me, you know, take the battery, the positive off the battery, and let it sit for 30 minutes, reset the ECU, uh, I might do that and make sure this light don't come back on again. I'll have to go upstairs and rebuild this uh, other new generator because what I could do is this. I did not uh, take some sandpaper and rough up the plastic, so I got to say that's what blew out that damn gasket and didn't have nothing to die on grip to. 
I think that's a little common sense. Yeah. So, uh, let me check these, these wires again. They are not getting hot whatsoever. Of course, you know, but I'm, I'm touching this down here underneath. No heat. That's what we like. No heat. It goes directly to the source. Yeah, it was heating up real bad right here now. It must not be grounded too well. So, uh, it was have a rough time getting, getting its power. So, that's looking good. It's followed up real good now. Oh, I can't probably see it from this side either, so let me go over here. Uh, I'm open this thing up one more time, and I gotta go upstairs and rebuild this thing. And I'll show you in the next video after this one where it popped out. I didn't even get the power on. I put just put water on it, and, and it popped out. I looked down, it was leaking water all over the place. Okay, it's just one of them things you gotta go through, you know, trial and error. If I had it done that way, then you get it on there and it pops. Nice, nice production, man. Really nice production. It's really good. I'm glad I watered that thing down. I think that's where most of the heat was coming from. I was producing too big on much. It was too thick with that KOH, so uh, I took it back down. Oh yeah, that's, that's producing great. That is producing right. That's what y'all y'all want going up in the engine right there. Of course, can't get up in the engine if I don't put this thing back up. All right. that on there and you see my strap back here that's how I keep this thing locked down alright we don't want to lock down come on uh, must tighten it up for me somewhere yeah I'm going to have to put that one on that is not right come on there we go Right now, I can't go nowhere now. The way these are put now, like they're supposed to. Like I said, this right here, this hose down here, it helps keep that water flowing in there, okay? Even though it's crimped right there. It is, keeps water in your, uh, in your generators. I mean, that's full of water, okay? And the water that I'm doing is coming to the the outlet side when the gas comes out. So there's, there's actually room for that water to, uh, to flow through there. So it's going to keep that generator full of water. Okay, let me go check these things again. Okay, the negative is a little warm. That's what I don't understand. This one's warm. Maybe it's just where the sunlight hit me. No, there ain't no sunlight here. This one over here is not getting it. It's something else. I mean, I got brand new wire on it. Got a fire on this side. That's cool. There may be something wrong with this one right here. Because both sides are a little warm and this one's not. It's got the same everything, it's not leaking anywhere. Okay. Well, we're getting good gas here, and oh god, y'all see the top bubbler. We're just pushing all kinds of stuff up here now. Look at that bubble right there. That's gas. That's really nice and gas. I wonder if I can take this and just open a crack 